Hi there and welcome back to Wizardry Tale of the Forsaken Land. I'm Baron and we should actually end the Labyrinth of Duhan. So we have explored the outside area. Oh, somebody is coming out. Let's say hi. It's a thief. At the end of the last video I gave Ricardo a dagger because with a dagger he should have two attacks. We get our first chest, Q will open it because he is a ninja and therefore he has some thieving abilities. We get thieves blood. And go in. Hey. Stay here. Gotcha. Oh. A harpy dogs. So, try to kill the harpy first. Oh, I hate you. Oh, the dog is Got 126 XP and 35 gold. Very good, very good. Hey, there's another bed. Shit. Where is it? Gotcha. So yeah, um, enemies only the first row of enemies can attack you. And they can only attack your characters in your front row, the three ones in the front, we don't have the three ones in the back. But flying characters actually can attack any anybody and from any row. So they could even attack your weak characters in the back row. And that's why it's always a good idea to take out flying characters first, or the strongest ones first, spellcasters first. So those two in the back, ox in the back, can't do shit right now. They will advance. Once there's space in the front row, or they will flee. They decided to advance. You can also change your angle. I don't know what you would, but... Missed me. Boom. There's no uh, difficulty setting. Yeah, I want to open it. What do we got? A broken sword. Where is the U? Damn. Oh, another rogue. And they also have two attacks. And that was the killing blow. Ninja has the ability to kill an enemy. Regardless of how many hit points he has, it always looks like that. But they do it. And we got more thieves' blood. So let's map out that nicely. There's a door here, but sadly we cannot open it. That, that's difficult here. This is a bogey cat. That also has two attacks. They can kill us. I will use a spell on it. One hit point. That must have stopped. Shit. Okay, it takes me part of it. Should be able to take it. Six. I want to see Ricardo attack twice. 
So 113 XP and 59 gold. Very nice. Let's look, take a look at that chest. And we get armor. Okay, I don't know what it is. It's unappraised. Um, you could identify it at a shop or if you had an, an, a bishop, you could appraise it. Or you could just try to equip it. And hope that it's not cursed. It's leather armor. Okay. See? It can be worn by everybody except uh, sorcerer. But chest plate is better. One point more defense. Friendly, so we will leave. I don't know how slime could be friendly, but okay. Whatever. Hey, it's friendly slime. Yeah, slime was friendly too. From, uh, Ghostbusters, so maybe it has something to do with that. Cool. Oh, lots of box. Don't run away, stay in the lane. Pretty cool. This door can be opened. And I think, yeah. The instant you entered, there was something different about the room. Several boxes were aligned neatly to form a desk, and carpet was rolled out as to welcome guests. The room contained a scent of liveliness, something that did not exist in the labyrinth. Yeah, so if the area is green, I guess that means that it's safe. There's a wooden box, but not much else. So we always go for the harpy first. Because she does the most damage. So the dagger is weaker of course than the long sword, but since you get two attacks with it, it does more damage than just one attack with the long sword would do. So that's the rationale behind me equipping a dagger here. Sorry, but can you wait a moment? I'm ashamed to say, but my legs won't stop shaking. I almost lost my life just up ahead. I know it's all in the past, but I still can't seem to forget that fear. Q is terrified, what will you do? We will encourage him. Sorry to cause unnecessary worry. Don't worry about it, we're a team. Hey Byron. Don't you think we should go where Q almost died? If you keep avoiding that place, you'll never be able to recover from your fear of the past. So Q, where is that place? If we keep going straight ahead, there should be an altar in a snowy area. In front of the altar is where I was laying. Got it. The snowy altar, right? Then what are we waiting for? Yeah, well, don't rush. All in its due time. So, uh, maybe we should cast a healing spell. Oh, actually, I'm here. 
I have one spell. We will cast it on Carter. So, there was something lying on the floor. It's like a skeleton. There's a skeleton on the ground. Gah! <laughs> you, you people have fallen for my bait. And yeah, they ambushed us. The monsters have suddenly hit you. So they get to attack first. They only have one attack. Okay. But hey, seven. That's not fun. Two attacks. Oh, fuck off. Oh, two attacks. Okay. So that was 22. Probably more than you would have gotten with a longsword. There's a small shield on the corpse. You take it? Yes. You got a small steel shield. The name of the person it belonged to was engraved in the shield. Scott Bain, the Wolf of Gascon. Those thieves must have killed him. Hold on, can I take a look at that shield? Ricardo held the shield and gazed at the engraved name. Ricardo approached the dead body and crouched down. He examined the body to look for something. I thought so. That dead body. He was the leader of the team I used to be with. I had no idea he was dead. He wasn't somebody who would be would get killed easily by thieves. That's sad that he doesn't even have someone to claim his body, especially when it's this close to town. What a pity. I really wanted to confront him because he was the one who kicked me out, but it's strange how nothing would come out of my mouth. Now that he's right in front of me. Can't hear you anyway. Damn. And I wanted to teach him a lesson one of these days. Sorry guys, I didn't mean to get you guys involved. That's okay, we got a shield. So, uh, a small steel shield. As you can see, it can be used by anybody except the sorcerer. So... It will increase evade and defense. Thank you. Surprise. So again, we go for the hop first. Stop running! Take my XP with you. That was it. Boom. Well, monster is friendly. Fine, we did. That's a big one. So, a giant toad. Oh, I hate you. I hate you. That should be enough. So, three more slides. Nice. 
90. That's good. So, uh, Ricardo is down to 11. How about we use a healing potion? Special ever with field spell. Restores a small amount of hit points for one combat. Thanks. Moving on. Hey, what's that supposed to do? <laughs> yep, dangerous move. <laughs> On second thought, before we go there, let's retrace our steps. There's something engraved in the wall, and it looks like writing, and this is what it says. To go to town easily, use a transfer potion. You'll be there instantly. The mighty warrior Odin. Yeah, I don't have a transfer potion, I think. No, doch, yes, yes, doch, yes, <laughs> doch. That's German, it means, uh, but actually yes. Uh, there is a transfer potion. Hugo has one. Imperial Quarters. Oh gosh, what should I do? The priestess stood bored in the room. Hello, beautiful. Huh? You're the one. We met at the lodge, right? That's right. Are you here to get a pass also? What pass? I guess so. I see, but nobody's here right now. I was pretty sure this is the room to get a pass. I've been waiting for a while, but nobody's shown up. What should I do now? The party members I hired just took their money and ran. That totally sucks. Talking about sucking. Uh, just kidding. Will you let me be a member of your party? Uh, would there be a problem if you have two priests in a party? No. Please, join our party. I'm relieved that you all seem like really nice people. Oh, we are. Okay, we've got a deal. I'm Sarah McDuff. Nice to meet you. Welcome to our party. Sarah joined our party. Okay, so this area apparently is safe too. Because it's green. There are some books. There's a ladder on the wooden box. Apparently I don't want to read it. Barrels are stacked here. Very nice. Hello. So. And Sarah with her throwing knife can attack a character from the back. So yeah, that is what this game is all about. Lots of combats and every now and then you stumble across a character and get some conversation.
the half is going to attack my priestess. And she only has like 40 or something. So she has to be kept safe <laughs> to our friends. But she still took a dagger to the face. Apparently, it's quite fast. She can uh, attack fly. Oh, critical! Fuck! Okay. The more party members you have in your party, the less XP you will get. Battle. Should be logical, because but it's easier to win a battle with lots of people, therefore you don't get that much XP. Kyo is the guy that will always win. Shit. Wrong button. Yeah, since he's the ninja of the party, he will always open. So, well, if you actually equip it, you realize this is a uh, battle axe. Uh, see, a damage 12 to 19, but the accuracy goes down by 20%, which sucks. And with the dagger, the accuracy actually goes up by 20%. So it's more likely that you hit. Nobody sneaks up on us from behind, and that would mean they would get a shot at Sarah. That's the altar. It's right here. I was laying here by the altar. Q walked slowly toward the altar. Gazed at the cracked and worn altar. Q whispers were audible. I was frightened as the cold and fatigue numbed my senses one by one. The sharp claws of death held me firmly as it tried to pull me into the darkness. I struggled. I desperately pursued the light in order to fend off the darkness. I tried to recall the bright memories I felt in my life, but I had nothing. I was always alone in my memories, not even a memory of a friend filling my mind with nostalgia, nor a loved one who warms my heart by just by the thought of her. No, I had nothing. The only thoughts that existed were of despair and regret. Kyo lightly brushed the snow off the surface and walked back. Since then I have been plagued with nightmares thought that if I returned to this damn place my fear would return to haunt me, but in reality it hasn't. All I see is a chunk of stone. Maybe I was wrong. Death cannot be overcome. It is a fate no one can escape. That trying to fight death may just be useless, for darkness is always buried within my heart. I am afraid I have wasted your time. That's okay as long as you stay with the party. Waste my time all you want. Oh, 
Okay, uh, we got a shield. That. And it actually is a metal shield. See? Evade plus two, defense plus three. Cannot be used by priests, bishops, and sorcerers. Okay, I opened that already. Hey! Shit! Since we have a second, uh, yeah, of course. Open the bloody thing. Ah, slime goo and a frog tongue. So, since we actually have a second priest now, she can actually heal Ricardo. He really needs it. So, uh, how about Return to town to level up. Hello. Even Sarah can level. It's a little difficult to control uh, with the 360 D-pad. It actually is kind of bad. The PS2 uh, D pad, uh, the control is much more precise. Surprise! Exactly. Surprise means uh, we get to attack them and they don't.
And Ricardo can level up again. You can, you know, get several level ups. In this. It's not like in the uh, Krim games. Where all there you can only level up once and the excess is left uh, lost. So I will save now and we will do the whole leveling in the next video. Does that sound like a plan? I think that sounds like a plan. So thank you very much for watching and see you soon. Bye.